Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for another leadership, um, another video in this leadership series. And today we are speaking about the law of priorities. And I know I always say at the start of the videos that, you know, this is another important video, but let me tell you, this video is absolutely important. It's not just important to this leadership series, but it's also important to your personal life. And it says, activities are not necessarily accomplishments. Activities are not necessarily accomplishments. And when we speak about the law of priorities, I have to speak about the Pareto principle, the 2080 principle, as some of you might know it as, which speaks to, if you have 10 things to do in a day, and you do the two most important things on that list of the 10 things that you have to do, those two things are more than likely going to produce 80% of the results that you'd have wanted to accomplish from that day. So it produces 80% of the returns. And the other um, eight things that you have to do would have only produced 20% of the return. And it speaks about the importance of prioritizing what is most important, what needs to get done at what point of the day. Because sometimes we do activities, but activities aren't necessarily accomplishments. And at the end of the day, you want to look back and ask yourself, what have I accomplished for today? But we're going to get into that a little bit more. Right? But we want to look at three priority questions that you must ask yourself to really understand what are your priorities, to know how you identify your priorities. And the first question is, what is required of me? And now going back into the leadership aspect of it, as a leader or you know, leading a department or leading an organization, there are certain things that are required of you that you need to do daily in your job or in your work, whatever might be the case. And therefore, because it's required of you, it becomes a priority. So you have to ask yourself, what am I going to prioritize from my requirements that is required of me for the day, right? Then the other question that you have to ask yourself is, what gives me the greatest return? If there's five things on the list, and the top two things, the most important things on that list is what is going to give you the greatest return for the day, then that means the most important things to get done for that day are those two things. And I want you to pay attention to that because sometimes we have so many things to do in a day, you know, we start with the, the easiest stuff and then we never get to the most important stuff. And I want you to think about it as you go to work, as you go to school, whatever your case is, ask yourself what are the most important things that are going to give me the most returns. But not only that, because the third question is, what gives me the greatest reward? It also means if you don't enjoy it, then it's going to also be very difficult for you to do it as well. So you have to ask yourself that question as well. What gives me the greatest return? What gives me the greatest reward? And when you ask yourself what gives you the greatest reward, and you can look at it and say, you know what, all right, this is what is important to me as well, you will know where to prioritize that activity as well. So when you ask yourself those three things, what gives me, what is required of me, what gives me the greatest return, and what gives me the greatest reward, it helps you to structure what are your priorities for your day. And I just want you to think about those three things as you go about your day. And as you go about your life in general, as you're living, you know, your home, you have, you know, you need to clean, you know, you need to, to write a, a blog, you need, you know, whatever you need to do, you have to prioritize. Because the reality is that you won't get everything done in a day. But if you take the time to look at what you can do today, then look at what you can do tomorrow, because time is there to do those things tomorrow, it will definitely help with your productivity. The Pareto Principle speaks to the 28 rule, where it says 20% of the things you do produce 80% of the result. You need to look at what is the, the important 20% that you need to be doing to produce that 80%. All right. Thanks again for joining me in this leadership series. Have a blessed one, and I hope this continues to bless you.